Hello everyone, I hope that uh, you have a great day today. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you get how to work on the uh, Excel uh, tutorial uh, 3, get the homework uh, problem review assignments, get the uh, soybean get, uh, workshop problem. Alright, so on the screen, you can see that on my right hand side will be the steps get, uh, required. Uh, uh, for you, uh, from you to complete the homework. So, I'm not going to show you all the steps, okay, but I will just show you some uh, uh, of the steps so you can get an idea about okay, how to work on this homework. So, step one is say, okay, uh, open the soybean okay, a worksheet and then save the uh, uh, workbook as okay, soybean uh, corp. Okay. So I have uh, downloaded the uh, sample file, okay, student sample file. So I'm going, I have opened it up already. So okay, I'm going to complete step one. Okay, I'm going to click save as, and then I'm going to change the name, okay, from soybean, okay, to soybean, okay, uh, crop, okay. So it's just like uh, it is required in uh, the uh, uh, over step one. Step two, we say the document sheet can enter your name in cell B3. So if you check okay, uh, the uh, color number, this is B, and row number, this is 3. So B3 means here. At the same time, once you click on it over the corner over here, you can see the cell number as well, B3. And then this will be the input area. You can enter from here or directly from the uh, input box okay, on the cell if you want to. So I'm going to call it John Doe, okay, for example. And then the date, okay, so assume I'm going to input uh, the date is, uh, let's say, uh, July, okay, July 03, 2019, okay, something like that. Oh, there you go. So we have completed step two. Step three is a, the uh, yield uh, worksheet. Yeah, and then the size of uh, soybean crop is 72 acre. Enter this value in cell B4 of the yield uh, worksheet. So this is the yield worksheet. Just click, move your mouse button over here, a mouse pointer over here, my bad. Mouse pointer over here and click on it. There you go. And then again, okay, uh, this will be cell okay, B4, right? Cell B4. Okay, it's indicated over here, and then get okay, it said it enter the value 72. There you go. Okay, and then you can again press enter key if you want to. Step four. Okay, it said uh, the soybean sample comes from a plot of four rows. Okay, so the number of rows will be four, and then uh, the uh, for each row, okay, uh, the width okay, will be 7.5 okay, inches, and then the white, okay, and then the length okay, will be 21. There you go. And then we also, okay, he mentioned about uh, the, yeah, so enter those values in the range B7, okay. Uh, to a B, a B9, so B7, B8, B9, there you go, we have done it already. Step six, okay, you mentioned about apply the input cell style, okay, to B4, so this will be B4. Let's click on the cell style, and then this input, there you go, okay, and then those will be the same, okay, let's do it uh, using the same method, input, there you go. And then uh, we can okay, uh, move on to the next one, number seven. Okay, step seven is say that uh, use the equations described in the formula worksheet. Okay, so this will be the formula worksheet. Okay, so if you click on it, okay, it show you the formulas. Okay, the formulas. Okay, we will get back to here uh, later. Okay, so let's switch back to the yield okay, worksheet. And then get okay, over here, you mentioned about 7A in cell B10. So this is cell B10. 
uh, calculate the area of the uh, plot sample in inches. Okay, so we need the formula. Okay, so this is B10. Okay, so we need a formula. Okay, so if we look at the formula, it says that sample area. The formula will be okay. Uh, the area will be equal to rows times length times width. Okay, there you go. And then also uh, it give you some explanation. Okay. Uh, I will leave that to you to read, okay? Yeah, so let me switch back to the yield okay, worksheet. And then this is the sample area. And then in the input area here, okay, I'm going to put equal, and then it will be the number of rows, okay? So the number of rows, okay, reside at B7, okay? And then the uh, width in inches per row, okay, will be in B8. Uh, the row length in inches get okay, in B9, so I'm going to type uh, B, B7, okay, uppercase, lowercase, doesn't matter, B8 times B9. Once you've done it, either you press the enter key or you can click this check mark. There you go, okay, so it shows okay, it is 630. At the same time, okay, if you have downloaded my assignment sheet, then you can verify the answer okay uh, so again okay, in my assignment sheet i will take some screenshot okay uh, there okay so you can make a comparison there you go they agree with each other so that let me move the assignment sheet get okay, to the side again all right and then acres get okay, in uh, area in acres okay so okay, over here uh we'll be at the step seven uh b he said in cell b11 convert the sample area to acres by dividing the value in cell b10 by the number of square inches in uh and uh inches in an acre okay which is the value in h4 okay so let's do that okay so let's do that and then so over here it will be equal to okay b10 divided by Okay, you can see that over H4, okay, uh, it has the value square inches in acre. Okay, so let's just uh, type H4, and again, uh, uh, this time I'm going to press the Enter key. So it shows, okay, uh, the uh, result, but then, okay, if we look back over here, it says that uh, keep the result to four decimal places. Okay, so I'm going to use this, okay. Uh, decrease decimal okay, option over here. So I'm going to decrease the result until it keep only four decimal values. Okay, there you go. So you see that okay, uh, if you okay, uh, follow those steps over here, okay, you should be able to complete okay, the rest of it. In the meantime, okay, again, if you're not so sure about the uh, answers, uh, you can check my result over here. Okay, yeah. But then uh, uh, this 81 something over cell B4, uh, it might be uh, different than the one you are doing right now okay, initially okay, because they run, okay, uh, you ask you a step okay, to do some okay, go seeking. And that's why as of now, you might find out that the value here is different than uh, the value over the screenshot. All right. So again, okay, uh, those will be the uh, general idea. Okay, so. Uh, if you need to refer to the formulas, okay, please okay, uh, check on the formula worksheet over here.